Hello and welcome to the Flatsum e-commerce WordPress theme tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to recreate the Amazon front page and your e-commerce website using Flatsum, WooCommerce and WordPress. Our goal here is to recreate this look pretty much as it is. So we're going to have a header that's wide with these colors. We're going to have a slider up top and featured products here along with a sidebar. And interestingly enough, this is actually rather easy to do. So let's jump straight to this by starting with the colors. So if you've been following along on our Flatsum tutorial series so far, you, you'd know that this is our homepage so far. We really have to replace this and do a whole bunch of work. And thankfully that's easy because Flatsum has a very handy dandy editing uh, suite right in their theme options, which allows us to control pretty much everything. So what we want to do is edit the header first because that's the first thing people generally see. We don't want a top bar because Amazon doesn't have that. So we scroll down, we remove the top bar, which is this thing. Now on my Amazon, you see here because I'm an Amazon affiliate. So there's that bar, but normally people don't see that. So we're going to remove it so we don't have that. And we need to change this menu bar color into this nice navy color. On a Mac, we can use a tool called Digital Color Meter in order to find out what color they're using right here. So all we do is click then Control Shift C to copy the color. I'm going to go back and change the main navigation background color. I'm just going to paste it in there. And we have the Amazon color. And we want dark text, check. And we're going to save the changes. And let's check it out so far. All right, we're getting there little bit by little bit. We're also using blue and red as our primary colors and throughout the theme. Amazon use is generally their yellow and off yellow orange e color ish thing. So we're going to grab that color as well using the digital color meter right here. That's a good enough color. Grab that and we're going to set that to the primary color under styles and colors. That's going to be our primary color. And let's check that out. Sweet. Amazon also has a few other colors. So we want to get rid of the reds and the other colors that we have. So their secondary color isn't red. It's this color. So again, going back to our color meter, I'm going to grab this color and throw that as our secondary color. Great, save and quickly check it out. Cool, cool. We're getting there. So let's jump back to Amazon and see what else they have. On their actual sales pages, we notice that their add to cart button is a certain size, their stars are a certain size, and their links are a very specific color as well. So let's add, well, in flat sum, we don't have bubbly things like this. We have flat colors, thus the name flat sum. So we're going to use their primary yellow, orange color, as the add to cart button. Same thing for their star. So all we have to do here is grab their primary color. Copy and paste. We're going to scroll down for their add to cart buttons. Use that color. Their review stars are also going to be the same color. Now, what else do they have? They don't have new or sale button type things. So we can only assume what those colors are. But just in case, let's add that as the same primary color. And for sale, does Amazon use a little red bit of red anywhere? Not really, except for that that so let's make that a red color not going to be very specific about the red here let's make it a little bit darker that looks good so that'll be our sale bubble now their default link color is this light blue color we can try to get the link color through this but it's going to be really really hard uh, it's probably like that color that's not going to be accurate so we can eyeball that thing but it's going to be more or less something like this yeah, something like that. Let's save changes and click. Okay, we don't see anything so far because obviously we didn't make any links. All right. All right, all right. So those are bluish, very similar. Got our colors. All righty. So now we're done with the colors. Let's start changing the layout. Changing the header requires a little bit of thinking because Flatsum can't do exactly everything that Amazon has over here, but we'll try. Obviously, the first thing we have to do is we have to change the background color up here to this one. So we're going to get our handy dandy little color meter, make it super easy, just copy and paste the color. 
go into the headers and um, change the main background color, the header, into that color. And since it's a dark thing, and change that. Next, well, since that's going to be blue, we have to now move this stuff right below here because it's not on the same line as search. So to do that, we have to actually first remove the cart from there, the account and the cart from there. Now, not this content, not the show right content, because that would be stuff that goes over here. What we want is we would want to probably scroll all the way down here, not the top bar, the full width nav right menu. That's stuff that goes right here. Flatsum, though, doesn't have an easy way for us to move this awesome stuff down into, well, anywhere else. So even though we have to put the code here, what we actually have to do to make it work is add some custom code. And I've created a short code. I've called it account card. You guys don't have it. It's some custom code in order to put it over there. So if we add that custom code and my own custom short code, I can get my own account menu right over there. Works exactly the same way. The colors are a little bit messed up, so we'll have to edit that. But it's a fully functional menu, and we've managed to move it anywhere we wanted. So now what we can do is disable the header stuff right there and click Save. And there we go. We have our account stuff right on the main menu navigation line. If you'd like this code, check out the link in the description to get that code. And after a little bit of code editing and styling, we got this thing to work almost. That's kind of cool. All that's left on the header is to make it really full width if we can, to make the search bar go as far across, and to make it, well, not a sticky header like this that it bounces around. We want to remove that. So first, let's remove the stickiness. That's pretty easy. We just go to the header section. We scroll down and we find sticky header scroll. We disable that, save the changes, and that'll disable the menu from following us down the screen. Awesome. Now let's make the search full width. So I wanted to first show you what we're going to go for with the search bar. This is what we're going to achieve very easily because all we have to do is change the CSS code with this. For that, we go to the settings, custom CSS. We're going to add the CSS and we I wish we could set a variable width for this, but we have to set the full width. So the number I figured out is 775 pixels wide, and that's the maximum you can use on Flatsum over here. So when we refresh, we will stay with this design over here, nice, full, and wide. For now, let's leave the header alone the way it is and get down to the footer. We need to change these colors to make sure that, well, we get something Amazon-like, which is all white. That's pretty simple. What we got to do is get to the footer section, scroll down to footer background color, just change that to white, change the footer background color also to white. And since they're light colors, we want to make sure that's easy to read, easy to read, and we click save. Awesome. Now let's refresh and check out how it looks. Sweet. Hey, it's working pretty well so far. We might eventually want to get rid of that bar and probably get rid of this as Amazon doesn't have that many things down here. Um, well, maybe it does. So we'll want to play around with what actual content you have over there, maybe text instead of all these widgets. More or less, this is what we have so far. Decent little presentable footer and kind of content like that. So now the big part, how do we get the homepage stuff and getting this wide? As I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to create a brand new page for the homepage. So simply a brand new page. I'm going to call it Amazon Home. And I'm not going to make this a full width page because that's reserved for the special products. And I'll get to that in a minute. But what I want to do is remove the title. So I want to use the default template with no title just to make sure I'm going to put my content here. I'm going to click publish. Now, once that loads, Let's view the actual page to see what's going on. For a refresher course, let's see what Amazon has. It has a slider, products, and a sidebar. All right, let's start working with that to put that on here. So we want a slider up top. Let's remove that. 
and we can well actually let's jump into the page builder just because it's easier to use so let's add a row it's going to be full width row and in here i'm going to add a slider inside the slider of course we need to add either an image banner banner grid and what do they have they have simple image well in this case they actually have a video so but we're going to use an image instead so we're going to use an image and then we're going to add this image i use one of the images i've uploaded before and what's a good wide image that looks pretty cool nice and wide and we'll drop shadow none of that stuff we do when they click let's send them to the shop page all right there's our first slider image second slider image and what other good image can we pick? This one, just because it looks cool. And this one, we're also going to link it to the shop page, but I should probably link it somewhere else. All right. Let's click update. And let's check out our Amazon homepage. All right. As you can see, that's not working too well because the sizes are incorrect. So let's fix that pretty quickly reason it happens is that we have sliders of different widths so well slider images of different widths in order to make this all work properly and if you'll notice from amazon stuff every single one of their images is the exact same width so we need to do that as well for simplicity's sake i'm simply just going to duplicate this one image so they're all the same width in my case though since i want it amazon-ish i also want these all wide so Let's just make sure it's like that. Update. And let's refresh to make sure it works. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now these aren't wide enough just yet, so I would have to, in order to get it like Amazon, I would need to change these image widths to be exactly as wide as my area here. Below that, we're supposed to have content of different types and a sidebar. So let's get that in. Content is going to be super easy. Uh, so let's add another row. And let's add some stuff from the shop. In that case, it's going to be the shop. And hmm, what do they have here? These are, well, we can consider this a large category. Or if you want to do a little bit of extra work, these could be featured items. I'm not saying featured products, featured items. Special thing of flatsum here. or featured uh, products, but I'm going to use the category slider. So let's update and let's look at how that one works. My categories don't have images, so I will have to add some images over there, but it's looking similar-ish so far. They have a little slider and so do I. Alrighty. Below that, we wanted more products. Uh, so I'm going to actually add a, another category slider. And this time we're going to add, add a category slider, but a custom category so we can see our products from that specific category. And something like that, just like Amazon, except, well, <laughs> of course, you'll put your own product uh, and categories in there. So... Let's refresh the page. Sweet, now we have our categories and we have our latest movies. So all that's missing now is our well, sidebar. So let's add a sidebar to this page. That is done by going back in here, changing the template from default template to we want a right sidebar with no title. I'm gonna click update and refresh. So one little issue is if you do want the sidebar on the home page, it is going to squish all the content over. You might be thinking, well, hey, Flatsum has some options to put content before and after the header. Well, yes, it has put home page content uh, intro HTML, but that puts it before the header. There is no HTML uh, home page only after content. I wish there were, but not yet. Maybe they'll add it in, in, a, in a, another version of Flatsum. But this is more or less how, you, how we can create a Amazon homepage. If you want this to be wider, of course, we'd have to get rid of the sidebar, which in some cases is okay. And we'll just go from there. We just add some more content, add some pictures. If we want 
more Amazon-y things. All this is here is just simple old content, adding images, another slider, another slider, more images, content slider. That's all that is. It's just sliders and images. Of course, they have their own custom stuff to make it all work like this, but that's more or less how we do it. Just sliders, sliders, and content. If you don't want the sidebar, easy to remove as we saw. And that's just very simple, uh, easy content stuff. If you found this tutorial valuable, you can click subscribe below to get more videos like this and learn a whole lot more about Flatsum and WordPress. Or if you want to tackle all this stuff by yourself, you can check out the advanced course where I take your hand, it's personal coaching and more advanced videos which really go in depth. Or if you really want to speed things up and get it done right now, and especially want an Amazon look with custom stuff, contact me here via YouTube messages or check out my website where we can set something up and get it all going for you. So again, my name is Peter Krzyk and thanks for watching.